Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. Um, I wanted to go over a few with you today. This is technically new material. I think we might have done one or two warm-ups on this, uh, but I did want to go ahead and go over how to do questions like this. Uh, so it says factoring quadratics with a common factor, and the name actually gives us a huge hint, common factor. Uh, that means that there is going to be something in these problems that I can factor out right off the bat. So let's go ahead and look for those numbers. Um, I have a 6x squared minus 18x minus 60. And as I look at this, I have the number 6, I've got the number negative 18, and then I have negative 60. And looking at those, all three of those, 6, 18, and 60, those are all divisible by 6. So I'm going to start this problem by factoring out a 6. All right, so 6x squared divided by 6, I'm going to be left with x squared. Negative 18x divided by 6, I would be left with negative 3x. And then finally, the last one, I have negative 60. Negative 60 divided by 6 is negative 10. And if you look on the inside, don't worry about what's going on in the outside here. We factored out a 6. Cool. Just look at the inside, and this looks identical to what we did the very, very first day. So I'm just going to bring this 6 down. That is the exact same thing. All right, and looking at this, let's go ahead and try to find. Um, I have an x squared. That will break up into an x and an x. And then I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to a negative 10 that add up to a negative 3. Uh, well, that would be negative 5 and positive 2. And if I checked my answers, if I multiplied all of this out, multiplied all of this out, x times x is x squared, I'd end up with a negative 3x and then a negative 10. And then in order to get this final thing at the beginning, if I multiplied all the 6s out, I'd be left with that 6 out in front. So here's my final answer. I have x, or sorry, 6, uh, x minus 5, and x plus 2. And let's go ahead and check that answer. All right, looks good. It does not matter. Remember what order you write those in. Whichever order works for you is A-OK. -okay. 5 times 2 is the same thing as 2 times 5. All right, let's go again. All right, looking at my coefficients, I have a 5, I have a 25, I have a 20. I can't really factor out an x here. I have an x squared, an x, and nothing. Um, but I have 5, 25, and 20. I notice that all of those are divisible by 5. All right, let's go and factor out a 5 here. So if I do this 5x squared divided by 5, I'm left with an x squared for my first term. 25x divided by 5, that will be positive 5x. All right, and then last term here, I have a 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And you can check your work here if you wanted to, if you multiplied all that out. 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 5 times 5x is 25x. And 5 times 4 is 20. So just like we did on the last one, don't worry about that 5 on the outside. We're just going to worry about what is on the inside here. So my 5 is going to come down. Cool. All right, and right here, I'm looking to factor this trinomial. Um, these three terms, I have x squared. That'll break up into an x and an x. All right, two numbers that multiply to 4 that add up to 5. Well, that would be a positive 1 and a positive 4. All right, and looking at this, my final answer, I have 5 times x plus 1, x plus 4. Does not matter what order you write those in, it's going to work out just the same. And sure enough, there you go. All right, one more. Let's take a look here. One more. I have a negative 2x, a 20, and a negative 48. Now, I don't really like this negative here, so what I'm going to do with this one, all of these are divisible by 2. But I really don't want that first term to be negative. I'm going to go ahead and factor out a negative 2 on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and factor out this negative 2 because I like having this x squared just be x squared, not negative x squared. So negative 2x squared divided by negative 2, I'll be left with an x squared here. All right, positive 20 divided by negative 2, well, that would be a negative 10x. And then last term here, I have a negative 48. Negative 48 divided by negative 2, that would be a positive 24. And these are really good ones to check your work just to make sure you didn't forget a negative. 
negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Good, we got that one right. Negative 2 times negative 10x. Well, a negative times a negative would be a positive 20x. Good, we got that one right too. And negative 2 times positive 24. Negative 2 times positive 24 is negative 48. Awesome, we got it. And now same thing as before, not worrying about this negative 2. We are just looking to factor this trinomial in here. Uh, so factoring this, let's break it up. First things first, x squared breaks up into an x and an x. All right, I have two numbers that multiply to a positive that add up to a negative. I know that both of these will have to be negative. And then finally, two numbers that multiply to 24 that add up to 10. That would be a 4 and a 6. So that is my final answer. I have negative 2 times x minus 4 times x minus 6. All right. Um, so uh, as you're working through these, if you get stuck, feel free to send me an email or a screenshot. Uh, but hopefully this is enough to get you started on this. This is your only exercise for today. Um, I think you guys should be a-okay. Have a wonderful day.